Now, this is a uh, lifesaver uh, uh, performance poll. Obviously, we have uh, three polls. Uh, it's a short section. Um, you can see, you can usually tell our fence with the uh, four stitches in the border. Um, we're going to see what we're going to pop at here. Again, like all the other fences, this is uh, not an actual representation of its uh, full strength because we haven't connected the end of the pole. As you can see, we're really floppy here. All right, let's uh, let's give it a pull. Okay, let's continue on until we actually have a max number here. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it hasn't separated. All right, I think we've proven our, our point with this. If you like, you can pull it a little bit more. And uh, we're still, still keeping a child out here. Not that some little monkey couldn't scoop right up here. Very good. Okay. Let's see what we have on a reading on the Lifesaver uh, three pole. There we go. 195, 200 pounds. 200 pounds. Uh, that's why we had this uh, scale going up so high. Uh, I know previously we've been kind of down here in these lower numbers, but we do have to test our own product from time to time. All right, let's show it uh, back up, which is more of a actual... Uh, so we can even take an adult hitting this. Um, and uh, of course we bent this one too and oh, really damaging this product. I don't think we'll be able to ship this one out to anyone. But uh, as you can see, again, we broke at the first screw hole, but the pole has not separated from the ground. So we still have a very good product here. Uh, again, we would recommend that you replace that pole right away because obviously it's a uh, weak point now. Let's take a look at the core coming out. As we can see it is the lifesaver uh, previously called the solid pole which you may have seen some other videos on the internet referring to it as the solid pole. It's now called the performance pole. We like the name better. <laughs>